Okay, what is your name and how did you hear about our office? My name is Howard Ellis and I heard about this office from my wife one night who woke me up when I was asleep watching television. Uh, she was watching television, I was asleep, and there was an ad on television about some group, medical group, that was taking care of what was called sleep apnea. And I was asleep because I wasn't sleeping very well because I would not use my CPAP because I hated it. So that brings us to our next question. How was your sleep before you came to see us? Terrible. Terrible. I am a uh, veteran who just, I, I thrash around in my sleep. It's, it's a rare morning that I get up that the sheets aren't, that the fitted sheets aren't pulled out at the corners and wrapped all around me. And trying to sleep with a CPAP was impossible. And how did that affect your life? Awful. I, I, I would find, I would be sleepy at night. I would miss the, the end of every movie we'd watch on television because I'd go to sleep during the movie. And I, my, as I was aging, I would have less and less energy and would not feel well. And what happened to really make you decide to do something about it? That's a good question. Three and a half years ago, on a beautiful Tuesday morning, about the middle of the morning, we got a call from my 36-year-old son's fiance that she'd been by his house several times over the weekend and knocked on the door and he wouldn't come to the door, which was totally unusual. His Suburban was parked under the carport. My wife and I, who lived at the coast at the time, got in our car and drove up here and let ourselves in. And I went to the bedroom where he was asleep in his bed and I reached out and touched his arm and it was ice cold. And he was dead and that, my friends, is the story of the sad part of sleep apnea. I lost a son who meant a great deal to me because I had not really borne down enough on him about the need to go get a sleep stay. And having spent a lot of great nights with him when we'd sit up and talk or watch movies, I knew he had a horrible problem snoring. I knew that, uh, I knew that he showed all the symptoms of sleep apnea. He was somewhat overweight. And, um, but he was insisted that, that he didn't have a problem. That's, that's what really caused me to decide then to do something about the, the CPAP machine. And when my wife saw that ad on television, the next time that ad came on, I was ready. I wrote down the number. I called the number and got an appointment. And five treatments later, I'm back today. Uh, with this wonderful staff uh, making this little video. And tell us, so after, after those treatments, what's different for you now? What has happened now is that I'm sleeping absolutely wonderfully. Uh, my entire sleep experience is different. Um, I, I sleep now, I go to sleep within probably five minutes of the time I lay down at night. I've noticed it, that I sleep now rather than Scrunching up on my side and, and trying to go to sleep, I lay down on my back. I can tell that, that I breathe real easy. Um, I don't move around any at night anymore. I, I sleep nine, nine and a half hours every night without hardly moving. Um, it's just a totally different experience. I feel a whole lot better during the daytime. I don't, I don't, I'm not a nap person. I don't go to sleep at night. Uh, during the movies anymore, in the evenings during the movies. Um, it's really just changed my entire life. Well, we're so happy to hear, hear you say that. Thank you for doing this video. I also want to say this, though, that to people who think that any type of procedure like this has bad side effects, I just want to say in my own case, there's absolutely no pain. There's no discomfort. There's nothing bad about it. This This treatment that they do takes seconds. There's, I come over here to this office, whatever they do, the staff is wonderful. It, it's, it's fun coming in. I do get my wife to drive home. I, I, I really believe I could drive myself home, but, but they, they insist that she drive me home. We stop at a Starbucks. Um, I get a cup of coffee. Sometimes I do nap a little bit on the way home, but there's no pain. There's no discomfort. There's no problems at all. 
So if you hear bad things about medical procedures, some of them may be true, but in this case, Dr. Dillard's approach to dealing with your airway is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, and I would say that talk to somebody that's tried it and, and you will, I promise that they will tell you that there's absolutely nothing to it. Thank you so much. You're welcome.